guys, what's going on? We're still on the back. Uh, we're gonna try and go after Dr. Giblets this time. Let's see. Sorry for making the call without you, but the club's a good man. I say we hear him out. Hi, man. You want to talk to the club? I want to talk to the club, too. Already? Alright, let's go through the portal. Figure out what's going on. Um, oh, okay, we're already here. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. No problem. It's, 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 it's nice to meet you, sir. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My right, so last time, Magistrate Klug showed up on the TV and he told us, hey, uh, we got a Bounty Hunter out there that's really helping us fight. Men looked into it. Sorry. You survived G3, the G3's attack on your home planet that's Earth, us. right? So, well, we, we're, we're basically Gatlians, recruiting us, but, uh, asking for help. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? But, but you're a big-name politician, and we're out there, some you know, killing people. Like, wouldn't that look bad? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Okay, we're, we're listening. This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. You mean a rescue tool? That inhibitor. Wow, that, that, that's really helpful. You're just giving it to us? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your sentient people getting captured and consumed. Drugs. This solves both of our problems. That's what we are. Assuming you plan to continue drugs. taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, thank Easy. you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This that's means a lot fun. to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Oh, yeah. Cool, nothing else over here. You oh, buddy. Uh, feel free to stay as long as you'd like. Oh. Alright, so he gave us a tool to transport humans. It just. Alright, we're back! So. It's a question when are we gonna find well, some uh, humans in the same I got saving? a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out yeah. into the field. Yeah, You're really going to need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordeaux's chef stand, too. It's a little shady. But uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Yeah, we were looking for the jetpack before. I'm selling it.
Good going. Good go. I wasn't doing it before. Esther, maybe? There we go. Like a normal person, jetpack. Hey, you got any uh, jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Where's your jetpack? You. Here's your jetpack. Is this it? Jetpack. Of course. My face. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No, no refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck! God damn it. Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. Wow, you bought something. I'm so impressed. The chef plate. Hello, Blort. Ever hungry? Just God. swing by some yeah, completely some not illegal burgers. No. Are you the chef? You are the chef. What you got for me? Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I am Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> stuff. What, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Shady is. Fuck, what's your secret shit? Beauty Town Warp Disc. Oh, yeah. Sure thing. Movie theater warp disc, skate park warp disc. Like, it's a warp to a quiet country. Mm, oh, I can't afford anything. This is zero, though. Beauty Town warp disc. Thank okay. you for not doing anything illegal here at Blordo's. Use warp disc, use bounty 5,000. Okay. okay. Oh, you just broke my rib. Get your grubby mitt off of me. Did you marry? Boy? Yeah, and you took her name. That's very progressive. What are you doing? You the owner of this house? It can't be here. Gotta give you a ticket. I don't want a ticket. Ab you. Whatever. Get in here. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. Or, let's explore a little bit. Well, we don't have any more bounties right now. Unknown sector. Come on! Human Haven? Let's check it out. Alright, this Human Haven we're going to be sending our fellow humans to. Oh, well, oh, hey, this seems that? pretty nice. You know, I, I bet all the humans are really happy here. We get 12 full meals a day. None of us have the heart to tell them we don't need to eat that much. 
a lot of food. The toilets here are just out in the open, no dividers. But honestly, we all got used to it real quick. Now it's a fun thing like, hey, Toby's taking a shit. Let's all watch. Oh, so let me let me get this straight. You like it here? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better than being trapped in a cage. You? Oh, yeah, same. I like it here a lot more. A lot more than being trapped in a cage. I just, I didn't even speak to this you. This place? I don't know. This place is cool. They gave us free air massages. Yeah, I keep telling them it's not really something that humans like, but they keep offering them, so I keep taking them. <laughs> yeah, they just keep offering it. I tried reserving the sex room, but the waiting list is really long, and they only let one person in at a time. I don't think they know how we have sex. Thing? There's a doctor here giving free checkups. Got my first physical in years. The doctor didn't really understand the human body, so I don't think it helped at all. But hey. Free checkup. Doesn't count. Doesn't it does not count. So you're the one that's saving us all. I get it. If anything else. Can't get in anywhere. You're asleep. Alright, well I checked you guys out. It looks like you're all uh good time with your ear massages and your twelve meals a day. And uh, that sex room that only one person ever goes. It sounds like a masturbation room. No sex room. Uh, let's check something else. Let's see. Office, the slums. Uh, what else can Alan. Running. Treasure box. Let's go let's explore some more over here in the outer skirts a little bit and then go to sleep. Just a little exploring. back here the sign danger it scares me sandworms go that way yeah That's a big one. Whoa, you said it, buddy. That's crazy. That was crazy. Hmm. I don't have any objectives. Oh, yeah, I'm just looking to stab some stuff. Yeah, buddy. Sniper detect. Oh, buddy. Through the rock. 
Uh, yeah, that's the rock. I'm feeling it. Yeah, through a rock! Hmm. Need some gold, bro. There's something over there, too. Fuck, that's big! Oh, oh! Oh my god! Yelled at me, and apparently that was too much to handle. There's something over there. If I can get over there. Get up on this wall. Look, I'm just saying my glove shot might be helpful, you know? Yeah, it might be. It might be. I don't know if there's a way I can get up there. Oh, better. No way for me to stick this guy's ball blade on it. Ah, uh, you know what? I need a jetpack. Oh well. Oh, I'll just come back later with a jetpack. I don't have the endurance for this shit. Me neither. If I sit and play games. No endurance. Maybe you want to use my discs. Maybe not. I don't care. Go back home. We'll take a nap. Just like our buddy said. Then, uh... More intel. Explore, then get some rest in your day. This is your bedroom? Okay. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. Let, let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, yeah. I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably yeah. trying to, let's trying to get sleep. you to sleep. Trying to sleep here. Thank you. I've slept in like three days. Tuesday. Yeah, it's called Tuesday, but I'm, in reality, it's like Friday for humanity. What just happened? All right, partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Hold A. Holy shit, this rules! What are you doing? You're doing the Yeah! Check out that landing, goddamn! The human race thing that we're No, on. no, it's not, it's not, it's not the crisscross from Atlanta, uh, Georgia thing at all. I'm just trying, trying, I'm trying to figure out my life. All right, okay, stop wasting my time. We are here to advertise shirts, ties, suits. Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com Jet Crack Pro. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. Yeah, it's also it's... fun. Okay. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Of course. Now we have a jetpack. There must be something going. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Yeah, there's trash and big day. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's a shovel of crap. Off, Gene, like you've even never been on a date. Oh. Even start, sister. I know god. a lot about dates. I fuck more aliens than your brain could comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. Oh, is that my useful? My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Oh my god. 
Oh, ugly. Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here while well, you're off having fun doing whatever it is you do. No, fun? You're right. Boy, I'm working to put you back on Just Earth. Clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. I've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth. No, there's the there's crap on a shovel. That's not a really face. good thing in my book. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your That's... damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted you know, to you, him? bro. Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's my more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on. Brittany. Tell her I care about her. Mm. Yeah, sure. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck up degenerate school me on you life decisions. You do give that to her. The fact that I'm a fuck up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> and who's gonna have to deal with all your mean kids running works. around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Whatever Not she that wants. I needed your approval. Like here. Oh, fine. Yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Two legs. Har har har. This is just legs. Just clean up, Jean. Okay. Yeah, clean that up. This right here. Oh, anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Yes, thank you. God. I'm listening anymore. I want to kill stuff. Dr. Giblets, that's what we're here for. Alright, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, <laughs> we need this. Clug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit Giblets? on him. Giblets? I don't even know where he Purple is. Ways. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way. And ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. <laughs> I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Ooh. New features, new guns, new everything. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. Mode. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that okay. easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. <laughs> Do it. Talk to the locals. Give me some intel. Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, Misudo. Looks like you're oh, trying to cabbage. interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Cabbage creatures. 
But he looks so nervous. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you make him nervous with his interrogation. Where's Dr. I'm really Gibbles? sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. What? Why do you care? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. Whole and yes, sandwiches. I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot Craig. of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Alright. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You don't get getting it next ranked. Time. Why am I getting ranked on my interrogation skills? Hey, uh, hey, tough Average guy, man. We're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Oh? What's my whole deal? Like, yeah. who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! What the heck? What the, the drug guys? Any fucking ties of the evil what drug up your ass. Birds and trying to live a normal life in the sea. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? Funny, Wish I could I stab really you. Get a few laps out of watching this I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? No. How are you doing? Like with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look Have for you. somebody else. E. No, come on, would you stop with the killing for oh, a bit? Oops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. No! So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. I'll close all the ads. Cabbage man? I don't want to talk to this guy. So know some stuff. Hey, listen, uh, if you find a drum anywhere, my buddy Globo here, you know, he'd really love one. He's great. He's oh. a good drummer. And I think it would help him. You know, he's a good musician. I think it would, he, trust me, it'd be worth your time. Yeah, you know, uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for you. Eskel face, bro. Hey, sorry. Yeah, oh, no, he can't face. talk. He just sort of makes that noise. Huh, that's, uh, that's unfortunate for him. All right, well, maybe I'll pick you up a drum, buddy. Hey, uh, do, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, Sure. Uh, what is it about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Thanks, Mr. Taint. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo. That was an A rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. It's Blordo, right? Hey, what's up, Blordo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? Well, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it. Buster. Ain't sent us. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa, great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S rank interrogation. Oh, oh, fuck. I didn't realize. I'll get the drum later in my own time. Let's, let's go down to the slums. Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Yeah. You have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking for this new high on oh, life yeah, store. Hey, hey, yeah. Hopefully the slums uh, are a little again, more chill now that we took out nine tour. Guy. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg. Leg is broken, but hey, we heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose with where, where Joe. Wait, 
Oh shit! It's you! Fucking goddamn it! Hey! You're dead now. All of you guys are dead. It's the they're back and they're killing again. Get him, Torx. Is this what you want to do? You want to keep on coming at us? God damn, man. Take a break. Yeah. Oh, let me get over here. Some people. Oh shit, this one looks a lot tougher. Quit wasting our time! I agree. I'm trying to get through this. Here we go. Go Looks like I gotta go around. This is gonna be a run. Run, 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 run. Hmm. Maybe yeah, I could have. Uh... Back up. 
Oh, he killed me. Wow, looks like the property value is going up around here. High on life has got to be close. What's up? Beyond the Stars 2, number 6, abandoned by Flibby. Nice. I got faith in the shrimp I oh, thought. I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Welcome to High on Life Store number 7923, <clears throat> your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no traveling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Okay. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Right, uh, 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 hello, hello, and welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek. Uh, I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm I'm new here. Where's your training? Do you like working here? Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I have no clue. Hmm. You used a hyperbone? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbon 6 Midnight Lunch, and we literally just opened, so uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Wow, nice kid, but not big helpful fish. at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Give me these bad rankings, man. What's this guy? It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? Ooh. See, you know something. Uh, do you know about... You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. 
Whoa. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your hyperbong? What a professional. Oh, I'm so excited you asked. Hyperbong. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. That's how they smoke humans. Hi on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. Don't tell Ooh, them. Boy, the they truth. really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Another D for doo-doo. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, <clears> oh, oh, sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you manager. finding everything okay? You know okay? some good shit, don't you? You're the manager here. Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. Come on, man. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Ellis. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now. And you're distracting the hell out of me. Who's okay, fuck? shit. Not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. For you. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Give me directions. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? Let me go it? home. Sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's oh. right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off. You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he you. can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. Yes, Daddy. What the hell was that? Did you feel the chemistry there? Come on, Daddy. Let me out. Let me out. Holy oh shit, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty Davey sad, Glutes? right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. I guess I... I oh, 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 sorry. He's kind of in. Yeah, let me let me talk to you. For... Oh, you can go ahead and take his back boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Oh, he has boots? Whoa, mag boots, you're for magnetic boots. Holes that the Okay. Like, yeah, that's fine. You can totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful and, and they're the only way out of here. Well, you know. Hey, sick moves! You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than David Glutes ever did. Look at you! Where are we going? All right. Cool. Thanks, Davy. There's more of them. Yes.
you have to reload exactly when I land. Go that are you feeling it i'm feeling it sweetie always the right choice Missing here. This is return home. There's no portal over here. Alright, whatever. Feeling good, bounty hunter? Eh. Oh. oh yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Uh, I get it. You don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody wants uh -oh. to talk to the broken leg guy. I get it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's move on. Let's just go. Welcome back. Oh, fuck. We've got company. Hello there. You guys again? Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies not. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound Turn like we're me. intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. <laughs> We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly Makes heard sense. of you. Okay. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty We're hunter for the job. It. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little Where you trail been? for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands He's dirty. He's already dead. been doing it. This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, mm -hmm. hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do no, with it. Dale we didn't even mention too. it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's 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 go talk to Clug. Sure. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, 
deal with Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we, that's what we want to do, you know, but uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk, not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our <laughs> way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. Find us that fucking Dr. Giblets piece of shit. What are you doing waiting here? Get out You're doing here. great work. Literally nothing else. Cool. Wish he gave this to me earlier. Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pool of water. Gary fell in love. And broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down. And broke his crown. I guess the upper valley? Like. Symbol. Dispatch 146. You have a 1050 double DOA call at the Dickinson farm. Repeating. Dispatch 1. Alright. I'm pretty sure this is where we're gonna go. Get that can right. The blitz. Pretty sure it's the upper valley, so. Do it. Head to the upper valley, find Dr. Giblets, kill him, and we'll call it a night there. Up there, what the hell? Have anything for me? No, get over there. Like things have developed in a sort of weird way over here. Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. Okay, okay, I'm gonna ignore that. I kind of did this to them. My bad, guys. My bad. Um, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, sure, I'll take that. Oh shit, you guys are back? Oh. Need to die. Yeah, take out another warp base, huh? Killing these 
weak fucks doesn't do anything for me. Motherfuckers. Oh, wow. Now I feel like I should have. Uh... Oh, there's some gold over there. Right there. Where did this shit come from? It come from over there? It's going the wrong way. Alright, this thing is not helping.
Uh, have that for sure. Oh yeah. I thought you were done with me. There we go. Oh, a car, trash bag, babies number two. Sam. Let's do this, bounty hunter. Ooh, more gold up here. I got me like turned around with directions. to get me over there. Oh, that away? Thing. Okay. Help, help. I it. I, I, I'm dying. Shave all I'm the hair dying. off our bodies you, to you blend in. You hear some? So uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. Oh, you're I, done I, for. I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. oh my God. What, what, what happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well, it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A G G3 base? Oh, my God. It was probably done Dr. For. Giblets. Oh, God. Oh God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I... You had to do it. You, you had to put him out of his misery. It's a really annoying horse with a broken leg. You, you know? It, it, do you understand? Is there an equivalent to broken leg? You, you following here? But he, he was dead. Where, where did his body even come from? Bagged himself from all the way over here. Oof. Agonizing death. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, fine. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives because we need a good mystery to solve. Now go scan stuff. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. And this. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there. That's what they're used for. That's what drones are for. They're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Work. Looks like your typical work desk. Nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right, then. Let's, let's keep moving. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's got to be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. We got this, pseudo. Get the fuck out of here. 
<laughs> Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. You know what that looks like. These must be old hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. What else is there? Body? Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! Thanks for the help, bud. Alright, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go, go find more clues, baby! Number two. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Diblitz was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Oh shit, that's a G Gatlian! A regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha! So that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Gatlian. Oh. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know Paranoid what, uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do, so... Okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. <laughs> Normal guy. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case! Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. What an ass. There he is. Holy shit! Did, did he just... I think that's Died. Dr. Giblets. Uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me add him. Okay. Um, well, that was great. Dr. Giblets status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. oh, God. If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared I for yourself. this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. I should have fucking known it wouldn't have been so easy. Everyone called me crazy, but look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped. I don't like this well, shit. Sure. Well, just you had no qualms about killing your own father. I shall gladly spill the blood of my firstborn. Come on, primitive demons. If you're hearing this, it means you just killed an enemy. This is fine. I expected you to defeat some of them. But you will lose the war. Message in the event that you're 
takes so much time. Yes. Look at these messages. This guy has messages out the ass. Wow, he recorded so many, didn't he? Yo, yo. complaining about being the lowest rung on the G3 ladder. You thought you could kill me and take my spot at the top, didn't you? Well, think again. Oh, you glitched the room. Stuck in here. Oh, you are stuck. Yeah, what else you got? Alright, if you're still alive, you can't be Krubus. Krubus was too weak. I would have killed you. No, no, you must be someone else. Who was it? Who killed me? Was it you, Douglas? You I killed Douglas too. Did the whole G3 hate this guy?
It could only have been you! How moronic of me to assume otherwise! You're the most obvious suspect. Nipulon! Nipulon? He's the second in command! Nipulon! You've been here from the start. Comanche was his favorite right-hand man. You always hated the attention he gave me. You wanted them all for yourself. Truth be told, I always was scared of you. Can't imagine the evil to you I'm not even sure I could do that. But I have to try! How's it going? How are you doing? Gas. I'm out of gas. Oh my god. Nice. We did it. As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Initially, I saw great potential in both the Fergals and the Gatlians. But now, I see how foolish I was. Those were nothing but dead ends. Humans, however... Humans are going to change everything. God damn, what the fuck was the G3 doing with this guy? Hmm. Weird. If I'm reading this right, 
It seems like that famous scientist, Dr. Gurgula, was researching Gatlians? Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know what? We, we, we should probably grab that Gatlian, you know? Is, is he even alive? Uh, you know what? L let's take him back to Gene. Gene knows. He can fix, uh. get him all fixed up. Oh, yeah, 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 let's do it. Back to Gene. You there, bounty hunter. Fuck, it's Garmantuous? Yeah, you got that's it. right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you've made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Fuck you, you're just afraid because <laughs> we keep killing off your goons. Bounty hunter. I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill Mom them. Mom and Dad? <laughs> but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. Ooh. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. You monster! I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just That's like to gunners. inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come oh, to I'll kill you myself. Fuck, guess we've really awakened the beast now. I just wanted to say, you know, that today really meant a lot to me. And, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus. You find that detective mode. You shut it the fuck off. Never again. Okay, I'm serious. Delete it. J delete it. And if we, if you <laughs> can't do it, we, we, we go, we go to, you know, we, it's a whole mission. It'll be a whole DLC mission. Every last peso we've ever <laughs> earned, we pay whoever it is to delete this fucking detective mode bullshit. You know, a whole, whole DLC copy. story about it that, that we'll charge $45 for. And it'll only be like an hour of content because fuck you. Bitch. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We wouldn't do that. We wouldn't do that. We're not gonna do that. Okay. I feel confident that you won't do that to us. Oh, look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? Who the hell is this guy? Figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go. Come on over. Let's bow wow. And Jill can only oh, this guy right. over here. When the mask is off, I look at my your friend. He's he's eating. I may make the world think I'm happy. Cereal. I can't hide the truth for myself. Whatever happens, I must go on acting, acting, acting. Okay, uh, so we did find Doctor Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh shit. That's great. I, I I I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's he's not really functional. I don't I don't I don't, I don't think he's dead. But oh, god damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Oh, buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay. Uh. Th th thanks, Gene. Well, you know, if, if he can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... What? I turn in his DNA, okay. I want to know who's in my kitchen! I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Friendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Twig. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Twig. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendelos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendelos. And leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. 
I can go. No, Tweeg. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Tweeg, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a oh galaxy my to God. fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. I I have to decide this? Uh, I'll, I'll let him stay. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. He's gonna stay so regardless. I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am <laughs> sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey! Your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. He's working through oh, stuff. On. Be nice to him. It sounds so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. Uh, I'm maybe your dad. uncle. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my distant, couch away from very me. Distant uncle. Ah, your you can couch. Call it your but couch uh, when you start paying rent. Look at this. Until then, look at no this. Clean that up. About who lives here? Lives here. He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't no. about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned. You Tweed barely know this here. guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Oh, uh, fuck no. Hell yeah! That's the right call! Twig's a creep! You think I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. You know, I just didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To you live in here? <laughs> to, to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody about. got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. And Jill Oops. came tumbling after. All right. I think that's it for this run. Yeah, I think that's it for this run. We got our uh, Dr. Gibbs, Giblets. Or he got himself. We're lucky enough to be there. Well, I may make this till next time, guys. But I can't hide the truth for myself. Bye.